Hi everyone, I'm Jim and welcome to the review of Tomorrow We Die Alive, the first video record by the American progressive metalcore band Born of Osiris. Today we're celebrating the 10th anniversary of the record, so I decided to go back and see if it still holds up or not. My story with this band is quite simple, I've stumbled upon their music back in the year 2012, it was the music video for their song Follow the Signs, I've listened through it and I was like, this is amazing, I need to check out more stuff from them. And I've been their fan ever since. Here is the lineup, we've got Rani on the vocals, Lee on the guitars, David on the bass, John on the keyboards and backing vocals and Cameron on the drums. I actually remember waiting for this record to come out and being very anxious because on the discovery you had a guitarist called Jason Richardson and he did most of the solos. Many people think that his presence on the discovery is the reason why this record was their best. Where lies the truth I don't know but one thing is certain, the discovery is their best release. The production here is tight as clean but heavy, no loudness or no clipping, just the way I like it. Message is diverse, the songs are about personal growth, society, mindfulness, becoming one with yourself, shit like that. Structure of the tracks is between basic and advanced. It usually goes like this, intro, verse, pre-chorus, chorus, verse, pre-chorus, chorus, breakdown, bridge, chorus, outro. Sometimes it's slightly different where they add more segments in the middle. And the music could be described as a mix of progressive metal, metalcore and slight deathcore influences. The album starts with the song Machine and the first thing you're going to notice here is the drumming, it's stellar throughout the entire record. Cameron is very talented, he can play it fast, he can play it slow, he can do it all. His double bass work is great. I love his style. Next is the bass. It's not that audible and it mostly follows the guitars. When it comes to the guitar work on this record, it fits the music, but compared to the previous releases, it's kinda bland and just boring, you know, you have lots of chugging, zero zeros, ones, sometimes there's a guitar solo, but not every song has one. Next we have the keyboard and electronic elements by Joe, and he's straight up killing it. I feel that his output here is the reason why this record sounds so magical and mystical. All those keyboard melodies enrich the sound of each song and they make them sound special. Finally we have the vocals, I love the screaming and growling on this record and also clean singing by Joe is just beautiful. Also as you can see in every song title the letter A is changed into a triangle, I guess to symbolize Illuminati or some shit. What can I say, it's a cool gimmick. Machine is a great opener, I love the drumming and the vocals here, the electronic elements and the keyboards are the best part of it. They have that ancient Egyptian vibe mixed with some futuristic elements and the guitar work, well, it's kinda bland, there's zeros all the time and sometimes we have arpeggios or some shit. It's okay, I feel like this song is a little bit too repetitive for my taste but it's a great start nonetheless. 9 out of 10. Divergency, it's one of my favorite ones here, I truly enjoyed the intro, the verses, the chorus, that dubstepish outro is so fucking fun to listen to, the guitar work is actually fascinating and just memorable, I love every single segment of this song, everyone is playing at their best and there is nothing to criticize here. This is a legendary song, 11 out of 10. Also I forgot that they name dropped the album title in this track. Next song, Mindful. Now this one is much more melodic compared to the previous ones, I love the keyboards and the electronics. Yet again, the drumming and the vocals slap. The guitar riffs are also okay. This song is my least favorite one from the album, but I still enjoy it a lot because of the melodies. 8 out of 10. Exhilarate is a song I've made a Doom MIDI cover of, go check it out. This is one of my all time favorite Burn of Osiris songs. I just love the intro, the, that drumming section, doo -doo -doo -doo, and the chorus is just so fucking good, it's memorable, it's one of a kind. It's so melodic and positive, like it fills you with joy. And then we have the verse which is much more heavier, some breakdown in the middle, and yet again the chorus comes back and I'm just so happy. And then we get a guitar solo, and that guitar solo is so fucking good, it reminds me of the good old times of playing racing games like in the year 2002-2003, I don't know why, it has that island vibe to it, you know, like it reminds me of Hawaii. <laughs> 11 out of 10, Absolution. Now this one continues that melodic vibes, but it's not as good as the previous track, I still enjoyed the chorus the most, the singing, it slaps, 9 out of 10. The Origin, now this is my second least favorite song here, I still do love it because of the keyboard elements, the drumming, the vocals, the guitars are just fine, 8 out of 10. 
Eon 3 has a crazy synth section in the middle, I truly enjoy this one. Yet again, my least favorite part are the guitar riffs which are kinda repetitive, but they don't annoy me, this is a great song. 9 out of 10, Imaginary Condition is one of those songs that I truly enjoy listening to, but after I finish it, I kinda forget it exists, you know what I mean. It has some cool electronic elements, yet again the drumming and the vocals slap, some crazy guitar riffs here and there, but it's just a good song. 8 out of 10, Illusionist, now this one has a beautiful intro, it reminds me of the Visual K Japanese bands for some reason, it has that circus vibe to it. Then we have some cool guitarists, doo -doo 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 -doo, and yet again breakdowns, which are fine. The vocals and the electronic parts are my favorite ones here. It's a good song, 8 out of 10. Source Field, now this one goes hard, it actually has some cool guitar riffs here and there. I truly enjoy the atmosphere of this one. The electronic elements and the vocals are my favorite ones, as usual. 9 out of 10. And the final song, Vengeance, I feel like they've tried to emulate that dark atmosphere of the previous closer called Behold from what I remember from the discovery. I love the atmosphere of this song, the guitar riffs, the drumming, the vocals, it all slaps, especially that weird outro at the end, you know, that dubstepish one. It has a cool vibe to it. 9 out of 10. To sum it all up, the consistency is stable and the flow is fitting replayability. Yeah, it's an excellent release. I enjoyed from beginning to the end. The highlights here are Divergency, Exilerate, Eon 3, Illusionist, Sourcefield, Vengeance and The Machine. Go check those songs out. I feel like this record is a banger, but if I compare it to the previous one, I feel like it's a step back, especially when it comes to the guitar work. There are no interesting guitar parts mostly, just some zeros and chugging, and I just loved the atmosphere and the guitar solos of the previous record. Here that's nowhere to be found, but what you can find is an amazing electronic keyboard and synth work by Joe and Cameron. Cameron is killing it on the drums, and I guess he wrote most of those songs, and I just love this record. It's not as good as the previous one. It kind of feels like they are trying to cover up the bland guitar riffs with crazy electronic elements and it works because you are focused on those cool fucking atmospheric parts. I remember that when this record was released it had some very negative press, they made fun of the guitarist that he couldn't play the Discovery stuff live, he actually could. And also people were just bored by this record because it didn't have those crazy guitar solos. But I feel that you should give this record a chance because it's a fucking fun time. Also the lyrics on this record slab, I forgot to talk about them but you can discover them by yourself. Celebrate Rossi by spinning this record today, it deserves your love and attention. That's all from me, thank you for watching, don't forget to like and subscribe, follow me on Instagram in the description, I will see you in my other videos. Bye!